Now that we understand where sound comes from in Scanner XT, it's important to understand what makes the small green needle move through the means of modulation. Well, let's talk about the first source, the oscillators. Unlike the oscillators that are present in most synthesizers, the oscillators in Scanner XT aren't intended to be heard. In fact, you'll never hear them. Their only job is to modulate the sample reader at the top. So essentially, the oscillators are more like LFOs than real oscillators. In fact, they can actually reach LFO frequencies as well. Let's take a look at oscillator A in action now. I'll turn the shape knob over till I get a full sawtooth waveform. And then I'll increase the sample position modulation depth to about 12 o'clock. Notice the sound goes pretty crazy at this point. This is because I've made oscillator A a much bigger modulation source than it was before. Though it's not visible, the playback needle is being modulated with much more intensity than it was before. I can also use the oscillator A envelope to make oscillator A itself much more interesting. The envelopes for the oscillator section don't actually control amplitude like normal envelopes. They also control sample playback modulation. This ultimately creates combing granular effects with the attacks, sustains, and releases of each key. Let's check it out. I'll raise my attack about halfway. Hear the kind of combing fade in that occurs now? So, through each oscillator and their respective envelopes, you can really sculpt sound in a way that you can't with other synthesizers. And we'll get into this more as we start creating patches together. In the next video, let's continue going over the oscillator section.